Roblox Doors update is finally out. Doors is a first-person horror game with the end objective of reaching door 100 while avoiding entities that try to kill players. So hey guys, welcome back to the channel again, hope you're all doing good. In today's video, we are going to talk about the Roblox Doors update. But before starting the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon too. Now let's get started. Within the lobby, players can enter elevators that can consist of up to 1 to 4 players to explore the hotel. Players start in the elevator and are given a pre-run shop to purchase for available items, vitamins, lockpicks, lighter, and flashlight. Once players exit the elevator, players will enter the reception room and must receive the key from the billboard to unlock the door. The rest of the game is progressing by entering the following doors to enter the next room. Almost every following room is randomly generated, with a set of predetermined rooms that appear in a different order in every game that is played. Rooms will comprise interactable furniture like shelves that contain coins, items, key, or just nothing, and wardrobe or beds that allows players to hide from rush and ambush. Some rooms will be dark, either naturally or by ambush or rush, and lock doors that require a hidden key to unlock. Entities Gameplay will consist main enemies called entities. Generally, entities try and act as an obstacle for the player. Each entity varies in occurrence which intended to jump scare the player, which will play when the player interacts with, get harmed or killed by. Drawers Drawers can include loot and miscellaneous items that don't serve purposes like listed above. They can include keys, vitamins, lighters, flashlights, lockpicks, bandages, batteries, and gold. Lighters and gold are the most common things to spawn in sliding drawers. They rarely spawn on top of desks, but even more rarer items to spawn on desks are vitamins, lighters, and flashlights. The rarest thing to stop on top of desks are lockpicks. The rooms if you haven't known already, Doors is based off of a game called Rooms made by Nico Rocks 555 A reference to this game is in Doors. Before starting, make sure to buy two lockpicks from the pre-run shop. Collect as much as gold as you can since you are going to need to buy a skeleton key from Jeff. Then you must go to door 60. There's a bookshelf and behind it, there's a hole in the wall. Enter it and it will be a maze. At the end of the maze will be a door. You will need to use the two lockpicks and the skeleton key to unlock it. Open it and you will be sent to a menu asking you if you want to go to rooms. Guaranteed Entities Figure The figure is guaranteed to spawn in room 50 and 100. Generally, it is stated as blind using its hearing to track the player. Producing too much noise nearby the figure without crouching will begin to rush towards the player. The player must maintain a moderate distance to keep it from hearing them. Players can escape from figure via hiding in a wardrobe or bed. Although following the player to the hiding spot will prompt a short minigame where the player must press Q and E or left and right mouse, left and right screen on mobile to time their heartbeats and prevent figure from hearing. If the players get caught or fail the minigame, the figure will grab the player out of the wardrobe, rip off their head and instantly kill them. Seek Seek will only spawn in a long lit corridor with many windows lining the walls. The player is given a warning for Seek in the form of ice lining the walls for the previous several rooms, which caused the lights to flicker. Upon reaching the end of the corridor, a cutscene will trigger, and Seek will begin to chase the player. If captured by Seek, the player will instantly die, even if the player is hiding in the closet. The first room that the player runs through requires the player to crouch twice though this does not appear in the second chase sequence. Items Lockpicks Lockpicks acts as an alternative to keys and are non-reusable items that break when the player interacts with the locked door with him. They can be bought in the elevator or pre-run shop. If another player has found or gotten the key, it is not recommended to open the next door. They can only be found once everyone has a lighter or a flashlight. Skeleton Key The skeleton key is similar to the lockpick except it opens five doors with a skull lock. It was removed but eventually added back into the game in the Floor 1 refan. The skeleton key in the Hotel Plus update does not open five doors with a lock and its purpose now is to unlock a door with a skull lock to get a badge and to help to go to the rooms. So, these are some of the updates that came in in the Roblox doors. Now, it's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for watching.